Hello! Welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to install the USB drivers for an S1 insulation resistance tester. Let's get started. Ideally, the easiest way to get the drivers into your computer is simply to connect the instrument to the computer. And uh, when you do that, the uh, Megger device will show up and then connect your computer to the internet. Um, this will allow the computer to search for the drivers. Uh, it will depend on the operating system that you have and the administrative privileges and uh, and so on. Uh, but uh, like I said, ideally you will connect your computer to the internet with the um, S1 connected to the computer via the USB port and this will allow the uh, computer to find the drivers and assign uh, a proper uh, communication port number to the during this to the uh, mega device during this process uh, you may have to um, connect and disconnect the um, s1 um, one or twice from the from the computer but uh, it should be uh, very simple in this case I'm going to use uh, power DB I'm using serial port 8 the same uh, port that shows up here on the COM device and now I'm going to um, get an insulation resistance form to do the reading I'm simply uh, left clicking here and I'm going to uh, import some results from the uh, from the unit now uh, when this uh, form pops up so I'm gonna use uh, import and um, with the import what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, start importing results uh, and this tells me what I have to do. All I have to do is uh, move this dial to uh, USB, which I already did on the unit, and then use these um, buttons here to move through the test results that I want to import, and then click on OK uh, on the unit. After uh, we do that, uh, we see the list of tests that are available, and I can start importing those results into the form in um, in PowerDB. I'm going to save select it to form and now I can see them here uh, appear on the on the form. Now if for some reason that doesn't work we need to go to the Megger website and download the drivers from there. For this we're going to search for uh, an S1. I'm, uh, I'm going to type S1 here on the search form and when I click on search I will find different types of um, S1 I'm selecting the 1568 I go to software download and uh, when I ask the download it ask is, asks me to log into the uh, website I did that and now I'm simply going to download the the, um, the drivers after I download the drivers I can find the uh, folder where I put those drivers in this case it was downloads folder I have to extract them because they are in a compact uh, format and I I'm going to find out where the drivers are uh, inside this folder here is where my drivers are located uh, right now now there are several ways to install the drivers into the computer once I have downloaded them uh, the first way would be now remember where I put the drivers I go to the uh, device manager and on the device manager I say update driver I right click there update driver browse for the drivers in my computer I bring the pointer there to that uh, folder and I say next now when I do that I am installing the mega device drivers and now under here under universal serial bus controllers I can see that my mega device is already installed however the USB serial port is not uh, yet um, installed for which I'm gonna do the same again I'm gonna browse the same place uh, where I put the drivers before and I'm gonna say next and after this my um, mega device is uh, installed on COM8 just as before Now another way of installing the drivers is uh, browsing to the the folder where I um, installed the drivers 
and uh, now I'm going to find the driver information file there right click install and this will install the uh, universal serial bus controller uh, device it shows up down there as a mega device you can see it here now I still can't use the unit because I need the serial port and um, even if I disconnect and reconnect the uh, the unit the S1 it still shows up as an unknown uh, device there see the yellow triangle there that uh, signifies an alarm or uh, something that's uh, not properly installed yet so I can um, go back to the that same folder and now I find the next um, driver information file right click install and uh, after that the uh, port will show properly on the the device manager you can see it here uh, well the operation completed successfully and then here on the left we can see the mega device as uh, COM8 now we can go back to PowerDB using the same serial port 8 and repeat the operation that we did before we're selecting again uh, installation resistance we don't want to save the the results those are simply the results that we imported before um, we can left click here uh, which will bring the import menu and we can just repeat what we did and uh, select different results this time start importing results will bring us to the same screen we already know that and uh, save selected to form and now we have those results imported into the uh, the form which proved that we have communication with the unit this concludes how to install the USB drivers for an S1 insulation resistance tester. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.